Hello, welcome to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all of the things that help me live each day a little brighter, including my mess over here. It's just clothes on a chair. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm April Lauren, and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. In today's video, we will be doing a tour, a fall tour of my home. But first, we need to work out. So let's get into this. Today has been such a magical and beautiful fall day. I have a few outside clips, but honestly, they rush seriously do the day so little justice. <laughs> um, but before we get started with my fall home decor tour, since this is my weight loss journey that I am sharing with you guys, I wanted to make sure I shared my workout of the day. So my workout buddy and I work out every morning or I work out regardless of whether we work out together or not. But anyway, this month we are doing the Get Peachy Challenge with Chloe Ting and the Glute Guy. And so far it's been really, really awesome. Um, this is the third workout of the challenge. So after we did the elevated glute bridges, which are <laughs> uncomfortable, I feel like all of the workouts, not all of them, almost all of the movements in this workout are a little bit embarrassing to have on camera, but whatever, it is what it is. So the Bulgarian split squats that we're doing now, I definitely could have gone lower and I'll be more mindful of going lower. It is more about your front leg and less about your back leg. So if you are doing this, just keep that in mind. You're so this is where I really notice that my legs are so different. Um, a lot of the exercises are you do one side and then you do the other in this Chloe Ting workout. And I'm really liking that because it is drawing that attention to the fact that there's some severe imbalances in my legs. It's especially noticeable when you do the donkey kicks, which we're gonna do. So this is my right side, this is my good leg. That is me doing best effort and my leg isn't even bent. So in my mind it's bent, but it just doesn't, um, it's hard to explain, but when they grafted the new ACL, they cut out part of my hamstring for it and they're just severe lag. So I need to start going to the gym and doing some more intense like isolation exercises to kind of straighten out that imbalance. And yeah, so that's gonna wrap up this workout today. And now we're going to move on to run into the store. <laughs> so I still haven't finished decorating our house. The hubs and I are going to lunch and then we're going up to Walmart. I have a little girls night. I don't know why it's getting quotes. A girls night for tonight. And um, we're going to do a charcuterie board and try and make it as healthy as possible and watch Practical Magic so I'm really excited about that but I am going to show you my fall home tour today in this video it's gonna happen I'm just gonna take y'all with me to Walmart first <laughs> Okay, so I wanted to show this footage because I was riding shotgun and it's just so beautiful. All of the beautiful fall colors, it makes me so happy. And I have been sleeping on Walmart decor. It's a good thing because I didn't need to buy anything. And I, well, I did. I needed to buy twinkle lights, which is what I went to Walmart for and ended up in the Christmas section. And I thought I would get y'all's opinion. So I'm doing the Christmas tree in my gym should I get a white tree or should I get like a gold tree or should I just get a new tree for our living room and replace our tree like use our little tree that we have in the main in, I mean, in the gym so let me know in the comments below what y'all think hey guys welcome to my fall crib <laughs> let's go inside I'll show you around my fall core. <laughs> so our home opens up right into the living area. <laughs> so let's do a little tour and I'll talk to you guys about all of the little things. 
So starting out with a wreath on the back of the door. So this is just behind the couch and then the little entryway table. But the wreath I got from Home Goods last year and I love it. And this is just a little over overview. You can see all of the twinkle lights throughout the living room, which I love. And then just kind of dispersed. So we do have like this one great room area. You can kind of see everything except for the kitchen. My little babies. I love my dog so much. Probably could have picked up the shoes and straightened things a little bit, but she's like a real life tour. <laughs> so I love putting candles everywhere. I did say that I'm gonna talk a little bit more about why I feel like all the lights and the candle specifically are so important. I think I said something else at some point in this video that I would explain it. And it really is just gonna be a things that I do to make sure in the darker months, I still have happy in my home. So, and I'm gonna do a whole video on that later, so I won't go too far into it. Here, I've got that little pumpkin stand, the wood one from Home Goods. This candle I also got from Home Goods, and it is just a Yankee candle pumpkin smelling, and I've had it probably for a couple years, I've been burning it. The bless sign is from Home Goods. This candle right here is a white pumpkin. It was from Home Goods or TJ Maxx. So the one in El Paso, which most of this stuff is from, is a combination Home Goods slash TJ Maxx. Um, then the basket was thrifted. The potpourri stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Oh, and the burlap um, buffalo check garland was from Hobby Lobby as well a few years ago, but they still have it. I saw it in the Christmas section this year, but I didn't buy any more. The orange blanket is from Amazon. And then the buffalo plaid stuff are either pillows from Home Goods or I ordered cases off of Amazon. So it's a mixture of both. And this is a Bath and Body Works candle that I really, really love. So the lights just add a little something extra. I just, I'm gonna keep talking about them. One thing that's cool though, I was really a little miffed that they were so expensive because Target has them for like three bucks, but these auto on and off. So after 24 hours, they'll power back on. So they stay on for six hours and then they start back up 24 hours later. I just think it's super cool. But let's go away from the living room. So then we have this little nook right over here and I'm gonna show you guys that this is just temporary. I kind of threw it together. <laughs> what my goal is, is to actually make this a stand for our firewood this winter. I don't know if that's gonna happen, we shall see. But let's take a look, see. So this reef was a gift for my mom. Again, I have the little twinkle lights from Walmart that are on that timer, which is just super exciting. These little lit up pumpkins are from the dollar store and they're really nice. They look, they look expensive, but they're just plastic. Um, the sign is from Kirkland's. The potpourri is from several years ago at this point. Um, oh, the little cinnamon brooms. I got those from the fam, not the family dollar, the Dollar General, and they are the best smelling things. Um, and then these little white pumpkins that are everywhere. So the one to the right of this, Dollar General pumpkins um, was in a pack from Home Goods. And then that candle over there was just the candle my sister gave me for my birthday. So um, let's move on. Next up is our cozy little dining area, which I love. Probably my favorite thing that we own furniture wise is this table and our little chairs. Might not be much, but I'm just obsessed with it. I love it so much. I think it's adorable. So the table is something that I got from an antique shop. I don't think it's an antique necessarily. Maybe the chairs are, but I, um, it had already been refinished and everything, which I like doing stuff like that, but not with that table. I didn't have to, it was already done. Um, I love having this little nook over here. Oh, it's Julio. I forgot I included my babies right here. And Chippy, <laughs> they're such good babies. So here's the table. I love the legs of the table. I love the chairs. I love the backs of the chairs especially. And then I love how I did the tablescape. So this table runner is just from Walmart. The basket was thrifted. And then I got that little pumpkin 
wreath thing. It's not a wreath, but it kind of looks like a wreath um, from Home Goods last year or the year before. And I just really like it. And it's on top of a cake stand in that, and the cake stand's in the basket. So that's how it's propped up. I just thought all the candles and everything were really pretty. And then over here, I have this sign from Tanya. Um, her Etsy shop, I'll link it in the description below. She made that sign and sent it to me. The little gather beads are from Home Goods, and I left, she put the note on the top of that sign, and I just left it. I loved it so much. And the little tear tray is from Hobby Lobby, and the pumpkins from Hobby Lobby, candles from Home Goods. So, and then let's, I guess we're moving on to the kitchen kind of fast. I feel like it's fast. And the second to the last place that I have decorated for fall is our kitchen. So I feel like I'm just zooming through everything really, really fast. So if you, there is something that you wanna know where it's from, comment down below and I'll let you know. But really this is about just letting you guys see my little bit of happy, fall happy in my home. So I, um, I put together a lot of things. It's like a blend of stuff that I've had for years and stuff that I've thrifted and, yeah, just random, random things and little mementos like the um, coasters that I have right there. And the little wood box is actually some flowers for that somebody's from work sent me when I got hurt. So lots of random stuff. My little cleaning pumpkin scent, which has grown on me. I hated it at first and now I think it's my favorite. <laughs> And lastly, one of my favorite parts of our home is the little entry from the garage. I mean, I actually hate it, but I love how it's come together. So by that, I just mean, I feel like this area is a lot of wasted space. We could have used a little bit more space like in a bathroom or in the closet. Layla did that painting for me and I feel like it just really ties this whole area together and I love these rugs. They, I got them super cheap off of Amazon. I don't know if they still have them. This wreath I got from Home Goods, and then it just has the twinkle lights on it. Um, then on the left I got all of these little branches from Hobby Lobby on clearance. So I paid like less than a dollar for each of them. And then this beautiful tree was a gift from a fellow fall lover. Stacy, thank you so much for sending me this beautiful little tree. I love it so much. I never would have ordered it and now I can't imagine like not having it as part of my fall decor. And it was definitely since I didn't buy really anything new this year. That's so not true. I did buy a few things new this year. So I had a gift card for Bath and Body and I bought candles which I had forgotten about when I did the tour. Not the tour but my last fall decor haul thing. I forgot I had placed that order with a gift card from last Christmas. So thanks Anna and Katie for my Christmas present last year. <laughs> um, it's fall candles. <laughs> and yeah, so I love this tree though. The tree is just magical and it makes me so, so happy. Now I'm just running back through the house. It. I was really racing daylight. It's a tricky thing when this time of year, the sun starts setting earlier and earlier. I feel like just last week I was able to make it until a little after seven before the sun was down. And this is 6.30ish, I feel like. I'm saying that, I feel like it might even be earlier than that. And the sun's almost already all the way down. It's intense, um, but I do love my fall decor. I love just, I love watching the sunset on the backside of our house and it all just makes me so happy. And I love my tablescape, I think it's beautiful. Oh, those pumpkins, the green ones, those I paid like, I don't know what I paid for them, but they were 90% off at Hobby Lobby when I got them. One of them got damaged in the move, but that's okay. And then here's just the final overview of my little living room, our little doggy beds for the pups. <laughs> and yeah, I had the, autumn fireplace going on the TV. <laughs> I just love it. I love our cozy little home and it makes me, makes me happy. And I'm happy that I got to share it with you guys. Um, technology so interesting. Like my mom hasn't seen my house in person, but she gets to see it now. <laughs> All 
All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up my fall home decor video. I hope that you guys enjoyed a little splash of fall. I'm gonna go into more detail on why I do the things that I do and why I kind of decorate the way that I do <laughs> in another video. Um, later this month, but I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please smash the thumbs up button. If you'd like to follow along with me on my weight loss journey, then click that subscribe button and ding the bell. And normally my content is more weight loss focused, which arguably, I guess, part of today was weight loss focused, um, but not the topic of the video. So. I am on that journey to lose 200 pounds and I would love to have you follow along on your own journey with me. All right, so we're officially full circle and it's time to say good night. So, good night guys. I hope to see you next time. If you subscribe, subscribe, ding the bell. We'll see you next time. <laughs>